Have you guys ever wondered why JSB pellets seem to be the best air gun pellet out there right now? Well, in this video, I'm going to share with you why. So if you belong to a lot of air gun forums or Facebook pages, you see somebody always ask, what is the best pellet out there for my air gun? And always, JSB pops up in the comments section or replies. And there is a certain reason for that. With that said, and my years of experience with JSB, it comes down to the blend of lead that they're using in their pellets. And if you don't know, JSB is made in the Czech Republic and imported here by Predator International in Colorado. So what I'm going to try to do is get a hold of Dick at Predator International and ask him as to why the JSB pellet seems to be the best pellet out there right now in the market. And to also ask about FX brand pellets and Air Arms pellets. So keep watching. And now I'm going to let you listen into this phone call. Predator, this is Jeff. Uh, yes, I was going to see if uh, Dick was available. Uh, Dick's the one with the company. Is there something I can help you with? Oh, well, um, yeah, my name is James, and I was calling because I spoke with Dick uh, a while ago, and he answered some questions specifically about, you know, how JSB pellets are made and such, and I do a lot right. of... I do a lot of uh, reviews and such on like YouTube and things like that about pellets and air guns. And I just wanted to take a couple minutes of your time, if that was all right, to ask you a couple questions about some things that I found out about the JSB lead and pellets and such. I know you. I can't think of your channel right up because I recognize your voice. I think we spoke before a long time ago. What's your channel again? Uh, STKO or All About Air Guns. Yeah, that's you. Yep. I, I recognize the voice. What's going on? Oh, same old thing. Uh, I was just calling because um, I uh, had some, I guess, theories on the JSB pellets. And, you know, uh, I was wanting to do or I'm going to do a video here about the history of it as to like in the 90s. And I'm sure you know this, that the leading pellet back then was the Crossman Premier Dome. Right. And the reasoning behind how JSB got so popular is because of how they got to be imported finally in the United States. Exactly. And also with that said, you know, with uh, Pr Predator, or I mean JSB using a different type of lead, um, a more softer lead it seems than any other pellet. Right. It's more pure. It's, it's, it's damn near pure lead. Right. And you could sit there and literally pinch it in your fingers and you can't do that with any other pellet. No, there's a lot of ants. like crossing, you know, I have a lot of antimony in it. That's why it shines so much. Right. And uh, the reasoning behind that was I was wanting to know, uh, Dick kind of hit on this subject before, too, as to why JSB seemed to be the leading pellet right now. Like, you know, I mean, it doesn't really matter the brand, but it's whoever had whoever has this, you know, blend of lead seems to be the leading pellet, whether it's JSB or any other brand, of course. But, but what happens is with this blend of lead that they're putting out there with the different sizes, it's swadging up in the barrels of the air guns better, you know, compared to like Crossman nowadays, the antimony doesn't want to, um, does not want to swadge up in a barrel like the JSB pellets do because it's so hard. And if it gets pushed too fast, it's too brittle and it'll actually break. I've had pellets break off in my barrels. Interesting. You're the first one that ever told me anything like that. Yeah, I've, I've had, I got the, th I got three different Avengers, all different calibers. And if I run my Crossman Premier pellets too fast, they'll actually break the skirt off in my gun. Interesting. But JSBs are not like that because they're so, uh, they're so soft that they actually swadge up and they even swadge up, you know, a lot when you're shooting them out of a break barrel, of course, because that air hits the back of the pellet like a hammer. So I just wanted to clarify you if that, I mean, that's the findings that I'm getting is that it's not just that it's JSB. It could be, it could have been any other brand of pellet, but that's just the reason why they're dubbed one of the best pellets out there right now. The top pellet is because of the, the softer lead getting swatched up in the bore and fitting the rifling better. Exactly. I mean, I mean, I always tell people this too. You always shoot with shoots best at your rifle, be it, you know, JSBs, Predators, or if you have another brand, another brand, it's just the way it works. But, 
GFD is a real and predator pelts are really consistent because along along a lot of different rifles on um, barrels I should say is because the lead's so soft and when that first air does hit it the skirts just take you know they the skirts open up enough where they engage the rifling which you know makes a more accurate projectile at that point because it's engaging the rifling fully at that point. Right. So I mean don't get me wrong I you know I, some of my rifles like crossing that's just the way it is and they shoot pretty good but yeah I mean the crossing barrels if if, if it, I've crossed the pelts into like a tighter bore you know just you know because again like you're saying too you know there's, there's so much animal in them you know, there's not too much swelling of the skirt I mean I have seen that happen before but nothing major like what the JSBs do um, so you know if you run out of tighter barrels I noticed that the crossings work better but you know JSBs can work in a bunch of different barrels better than most anyway Yep, and then that's why they have the different, uh, I spoke about this topic with Dick before too, that's why they have the different weights. It's not so much a weight issue, it's the distribution of the, the center of the pellet itself being longer. So like for instance, you know, in 22 cal, I'm a big 22 cal fanatic, you know, JSB 1589s versus the 1813s versus, you know, your 25 fours. It's all because of the different lengths of the pellet itself you know you're going to have to have those different lengths for different barrel twists and all that right well here's another question too because i'm looking at two different brands besides jsp and from what i could tell air arms and fx pellets are made by jsp correct and i mean they might be up to different specifications or different dyes but they're essentially the same lead the air arms yes um the, the fx are just re Okay. Well, that was a very interesting phone call, and unbeknownst to me, I didn't know Dick doesn't work for Predator International anymore, but I did get to have a good conversation with Joe, aka Monkey Dad, here on YouTube that is currently working there, and have my questions legitimately answered by him, and I truly appreciate that, Joe. Again, thanks for taking my phone call, and thanks for answering my questions. And also, to add on to that, as we both talked about during that phone call, it doesn't matter what pellet brand, it just happened to be JSB with that lead blend that seems to be fitting the bores of air rifles better than any other pellet. And the reason why different weights are offered is for better engagement in the rifling, hence how the pellet swatches into the bore to fit the rifling. So, with that said, this is why I test my pellets out in the bore by slugging them because of the way the JSB swatches into the bore and the pellet skirt expanding with that puff of air, whether it's from a PCP or a brake barrel or any other type of air gun out there. This is what causes accuracy in the barrel and how the pellet engages into the rifling. And JSB lead is more forgiving than pretty much any other pellet out there. So, that is why it seems that JSB pellets are number one compared to any other pellet out there on the market. So everybody, I hope you found this video very interesting. I know I did. I have definitely studied upon this topic a lot and I had a very good conversation with Dick the last time I got to talk to him at JSB Predator International about how JSB pellets and the Predator GTO pellet line up in the barrel because the 1813 grain and the Predator GTO and 22 caliber are almost identical and a lot of you probably remember that video it was definitely an interesting video and you know Dick mentioned that I pretty much had it figured out and again I just wanted to confirm it as the reason why these pellets are so good in your air gun so everybody thanks again for watching I hope you got something from this video I'll see you on the next one